Now, Slovakia's bears are a rare conservation triumph, but with that success comes a price. Growing numbers has meant some bears have lost their fear of humans and have started to invade villages in search of food. Well, now conservationists have decided to take radical action. Our science reporter, Rebecca Morell, reports from Slovakia. Imagine opening your front door to this, a European brown bear lured by the chance of an easy snack. It's a sight that's becoming increasingly common in Slovakia. Most bears here live in the mountains, but booming numbers means a curious few are taking an interest in village life. Now the people living here want drastic action. Of course, we can do something about this problem by making sure the village bins are secure, but I think some controlled shooting is also necessary. But conservationists say that killing these so-called problem bears isn't the answer. Instead, they want to study them, and this is their chance. This inquisitive bear has been caught just outside of a village, and after a tranquilizer dart, the work can begin. It gets a quick checkup, and then is fitted with a collar. It contains GPS technology that can record the bear's location 24 hours a day. Putting a collar on a wild animal like this is an extreme measure, but it's going to let the team track its every move. They're going to find out where it's going and what it's doing. Essentially, it's going to give them the first glimpse into the private life of a problem bear. And with both bear and human numbers on the rise, this is vital. The reason we're doing it on a problem bear is, is so that we can get more information about what these bears do, especially during the day. At night, we know they're raiding the bins, but what we want to know is whether they go all the way back into the mountains or whether they stay in the villages um, so that we can look at solutions to this problem. By watching where these bears go, they can start to work out how to tempt them away from the villages such as using strategically placed feeding stations. A bit confused and very sleepy, the bear heads back into the forest. She doesn't know it, but the data she provides could be the start of finding a way for humans and bears to live together. Rebecca Morell, amazing pictures. Much more at the website, bbc.com news.